Welcome. This brief presentation is designed to introduce you to the latest offering by Equus International, the Metastock Fundamental Analyzer. During this presentation, we will touch on what fundamental analysis is, how it compares to technical analysis, and how it can enhance your technical analysis strategy. Before we begin, I would like to point out that our workshops instruct you on using Metastock and accompanying software plugins and are not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using the specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented at the workshop should only be used by investors who are aware of the risks inherent in trading. Equus International and Thomson Reuters shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of their software and trading strategies or any information provided in connection with the company. For decades, traders have relied on technical analysis, the study of price and volume, when deciding what and when to trade. And with good reason. By charting price and volume and identifying patterns, many savvy traders are able to better predict the markets and increase their odds of a successful trading strategy. Metastock has been a leader in providing technical analysis charting software and data for over 25 years and this continues to be our core trading solution. However, with today's ever-changing markets, it is important to always be looking for opportunities to enhance your trading strategies. Stephen Akalis, the founder of Metastock Software, once wrote, Even the die-hard technicians can benefit from an understanding of fundamental analysis. But what exactly is fundamental analysis, and how can it help your trades? Simply put, fundamental analysis is the study of economic, industry, and company conditions to determine the value of a company's stock. Examples of fundamental data include net profit margin, P-E ratio, and debt ratio, just to name a few. In a nutshell, fundamental analysis gives you what a security should sell for, while technical analysis gives you what other investors expect the security to sell for. These are both good things to know, and many Metastock clients have long recognized that the theories of technical analysis and fundamental analysis are not as different as some might think. In fact, it is quite popular to use fundamental analysis to select securities, then use technical analysis to time individual trades. However, the challenge facing most traders who wish to incorporate fundamental analysis into their trades is that comprehensive, reliable, and current data is difficult to find and even harder to analyze in a convenient and useful way. And thus, after years of urging by Metastock enthusiasts, the Metastock Fundamental Analyzer is born. With a few clicks of your mouse, the Metastock Fundamental Analyzer lives up to its name by providing just about any fundamental data that you could possibly need to know about a company. View comprehensive fundamental data in an instant, sort and analyze data, scan the market for the securities that meet your criteria, view EPS and quarterly estimates at a glance, import your own data from Metastock technical analysis scans. Now let's go ahead and launch the Metastock Fundamental Analyzer. With fundamental data becoming more and more popular in the technical analysis industry, the Fundamental tab of the Metastock Fundamental Analyzer helps traders stay informed of a company's current stance in the market. This screen shows key fundamental information in one easy to understand spot that includes exchange, industry and sector, market cap, the average 21 day volume, your 52 week high and low including the price and date, and your annual after tax income. You can type in the symbol you want to retrieve fundamental data on in the symbol box in the top left hand corner. If you're not sure of the symbol, you can use our symbol lookup feature by clicking onto the magnifying glass. You have the option to search by either symbol or company name. So let's say we want to see all the symbols that begin with the letter B. We'd select symbol and then B. To quickly retrieve information on a company, for example Boeing, we'll click on the symbol in the symbol field, which returns us to the fundamental tab, displaying all the fundamental data on Boeing. With our linking feature, a quick click of the mouse and you can drill into each category in the Fundamentals tab section. Information like definitions and calculations are included in the information found in these links. Why is P-E ratio important? This is what the market looks at to get a quick overview of the valuation of the stock, not of the company.
The P.E. ratio of the stock is compared to the P.E. of the S&P 500 as a benchmark. If better, the stock should outperform the market. Let's look at a couple of others. Dividend yield can be used as a comparison of risk against a risk-free interest rate, such as a three-month treasury yield. If higher, owning the stock should provide a better return than holding cash. The beta S&P is another way of comparing a stock to a market benchmark such as the S&P 500. The higher, the more likely the stock is to outperform the markets. Let's take a closer look at some of the other information in the valuation section and why this information could be vital to investors and traders. The ROI, or return on investment, this is the return from dividends and price appreciation. The higher the ROI, the better overall return from owning the stock. What about the short interest in outstanding shares? This is a good sediment indication. High short interest should indicate a potential for a significant drop in the near future or a short squeeze. Let's look at one more. How about payout ratio? The higher the payout ratio, this indicates that a company is paying out its earnings to investors. Using a combination of definitions, calculations, and fundamental data from the fundamental tab, this gives traders the additional edge they need to be competitive in the markets. The more you know about the companies you are trading, the higher likelihood that you will be a profitable trader. What's the key to being successful in this marketplace? It's being diverse. The revenue screen gives quarterly and annual net income compared to revenue. It's easy to see if the company is up from last quarter and past years, which gives traders a historical view of the company's profitability. Investors can compare net income to revenue using the ROR, otherwise known as Return on Revenue, to analyze a company's profit over numerous quarters and years. If a company's ROR continuously increases, it is an indication that the company is making income with less expense. Some of the most important factors to consider before investing in a company is its past performance. Let's start with the annual earnings per share. Because common shareholders do not own entire companies, EPS is an easy way for such investors to determine how much they are making by breaking down earnings into single shares. Such analysis is helpful in estimating the value and profitability of a company. Annual Dividends Dividends are why many people own stocks, to receive income. This is what drives a large part of the stock market. Annual growth rate indicates the growth rate for EPS and revenue over the past 3, 5, and 10 years. Investors can use such growth rates to analyze the strength of a particular company over a longer period of time. And finally, the percent change to the S&P. The percent change to the S&P indicates how much a specific company has gained or lost as compared to the S&P 500. This comparison can be helpful to investors because the S&P 500 is the broadest measure of the current market strength. Comparing a specific company to the S&P 500 can indicate whether the company is underperforming or overperforming the market. Since a lot of what drives the market has to do with earnings and dividends or the expectations of good earnings and dividends, strong numbers or increasing numbers are what investors and stock owners are looking for. Decreasing numbers should indicate that companies may be struggling. Traders and investors can use this fundamental information differently, and how it applies to their trading strategies may vary. However, by using the EPS quarterly and annual estimates, as well as the total revenue quarterly and annual estimates in one easy-to-find location, it gives traders the inside advantage to increase their money-making power.